Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CUBNet's video series on STL series and this topic is about multi-sat. So you might have seen set in my previous video. So this is about multi-sat and it is slightly different than the set. And the difference is you can have duplicate objects inside multi-sat. So in set you will not have duplicate objects, you will have only unique objects. And this is the syntax, we have multi-set and object name. So this T is for type, whatever type you want. So the first point is multi-set is an associative container that contains a sorted set of duplicate objects of type. It can contain duplicate object. It's not like it always contains the duplicate object, but its speciality is it has the capability of set but it can have multiple objects. Second point is, it is usually implemented using red black tree and most of the time I'm talking about the red black tree and all, actually this is a self-balancing tree. There is another tree, AVL tree, you might have heard in your college or you might have implemented it. It was very easy, right? You have this and this and this, then you will balance this by bringing this one here. So this would look like this. So if this is one, this is two, and this is three, then this tree, I mean, this tree will actually look like two, three, and one. This is how it will look like. So this is the self balancing tree. It will keep on balancing. It will see that, okay, if the depth is going to either minus two or plus two, then it will try to balance it. So we're not going to discuss all these things because this is not a red black tree. I just forgot that. So just forget about this one. We'll see all these things when I will create a series on data section algorithm, okay? And then it will be a good fun. So for now, just concentrate on this topic. So the third point is insertion, removal, search have logarithmic complexity, correct? Because as I said, this multi-set is implemented using red black tree and if it is tree then it is a logarithmic complexity for these operations and if we want to store some user defined data now concentrate it is really very important because you don't always play with these numbers you have user defined data types like classes and structures and there you have so many data members and then you have the object or the list of the objects of complex data type and you want to sort it or you want to keep them in multi-set. So how you will do that? Because multi-set doesn't understand the user-defined data type, okay? So we'll see, I have this user-defined data type section here. We'll see all these, but first we'll take a simple example. Okay, I was reading through this one. If we want to store user-defined data type in multi-set, then we will have to provide a compare function so that multiset can store them in sorted order. Obviously, as I said, multiset will store things in sorted order and that order you can decide either increasing order or decreasing order. Okay, so that's okay. But here the main important point is you have to provide a compare function so that if let's suppose this is an array of objects and the class type is person. Okay, and person can have data member like age and a name. Okay, so this is the class name and these are the member names inside that class. So on what basis you will sort your full array because this is one object, this is another object, this is another object. So you want to sort it, then you need a comparator function. I'm taking this array example because it will be very easier for you to actually understand it. Otherwise, this multi-set is not an array. It is kind of a tree, not kind of, it is actually a tree. Sorry for that. Okay. So as I said, it is a red black tree and it is a self balancing tree or for short, you can assume that it is a binary search tree of some form. Okay. And to create this tree, it has to compare one object with another object. Okay. So, uh, so for simple example, let's suppose there is no tree. You inserted one value. So that would look like this. That would become the root of the tree. And then let's suppose you're giving another entry inside multi-set. Then that entry should go either right side or left side. Correct. So that decision has to be taken, right? Whether I should keep that 
in left side or right side if i'm keeping right side it means it is smaller than the root and if i am keeping right side then it is bigger than the root so that decision has to come right so in order to compare one function with another function sorry one object with another object you need this compare function and we'll see how to write a compare function don't worry about that and the fifth point is we can pass the order of sorting while constructing the set or multi set sorry i just forgot to write multi set here what i mean is see you have this multi set this is the object which is containing these many values and if you notice this 5 and 2 are duplicate see we have 5 and 2 here also but when i will print this you will notice that it is coming like this 2 2 3 4 5 5 2 5 5 5 so this is how it will come when you will print this or to say when you will iterate over this multi set but the fifth point is saying that we can give the order of sorting either descending or ascending so we can specify the order after this type so we can give comma here and after that you will give that greater or less so we can see all that so i think you have understood the point now let's go to the compiler and run all these things it got compiled successfully and if i will execute it as i said see it is printing 2 2 3 4 5 5 okay so this is printing in sorted order and i said that we can give the order of sorting here right so just give comma and then std less so if it is less and yeah don't forget to hit this brackets also okay so this is how it is and inside bracket you can give the type of this one but actually it works without this type also so what i'm saying is that when you are comparing them use less than operator means 5 is less than 2 no it is not then you will sort it so something like that will happen okay so if i will compile this there is no change let me show you that see still there is no change but don't worry see it is 2 2 2 Three, four, five, five. But if I will give greater here, then it will be reversed. Let me just recompile this, execute it again. See, five, five, four, three, two, two. So this is how it will work. And there are few other ways to actually populate your multi set. Like uh, after this, also, if you want to insert something inside this, you can have multi set dot insert and give some some value twenty. Okay. So this is also possible. So let's compile this and execute this. See, twenty is coming before five five four three two two. Okay, so this you can learn from any website and all. I'm here to actually discuss what else you can do with the multi set and how you will use it with user defined data type. So this is very important. Let me just comment out this code. So in this example, you will see that we have person and age and name. Correct. Now we have two. comparator function or compare function less than and greater than and here we have multi set object and we have two objects this one and this one and it is actually similar to this one what we had here here we had number we had integer multi set type and here we have person type so i am keeping multi set as person and we have these two objects of person okay and this is what person would look like it will have age and name the important point is we need this operator i mean less than and greater than operator to be overloaded in order to make this multi set work otherwise it won't work i'm telling you if these two functions are not there or at least one function is not there then this is not going to work and this greater means this should be there and if we are using less here means this function should be there okay internally this multi set will actually call them depending on what order you are choosing here so let's quickly run this also and see the results so i'll just simply compile them again and run them see it is giving 25 and 20 because i am using greater here so it is sorting them in reverse order okay and which person is greater and which person is smaller i am taking that decision based on their age and i'm telling you these things will be called when you are inserting these objects inside this multi set so the points to remember is this multi set is very similar to the set and it can have duplicate objects i'm so sorry for this but it can contain duplicate 
okay you can see that if it would have been set then it won't take duplicates it will be printing only two three four five okay but as it is multi set it will have duplicates so don't forget to hit the like button guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can get the notification for upcoming videos like this i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care